as I do all these things of feeling into it, it's like I normalize it. I calm my nervous system around it. I re reduce my anxiety and fear around it and it stops feeling so far-fetched. It feels a lot more possible. be prepared for wealth but in your heart you are scared yes it's normal to be afraid i think the fear you can look at the fear the fear is often like i won't know what to do with it what if i lose it what if people are mad at me what if i don't fit in i think we have to look at the fear like look at it see so get cozy with it when we avoid fear, when we avoid anything, what we resist persists, you know, but when you can take something and be like, I'm fucking scared, what is that fear about? We can take the charge out of it a little bit and the fear will go from being like a scary thing we're trying to avoid to just like a, okay, I'm a human, I'm afraid. But we can get to where the fear isn't enough to keep us from wanting it and going for it and knowing we're safe to have it and letting it in because you are safe to have it but no one can make you let it in and no one can make you feel safe with it. And when you don't feel safe with it, you won't keep it. Like if you don't feel safe with it, you'll do weird shit to get rid of it, to, you know, you manifest the money, then you manifest the expense and the exact same amount. You guys have all seen these things, but when you're good with money, when it's safe to have money sitting in accounts, when it's safe to have it and use it, you can stack it, you can build it up. You can have what we call overflow if you're feeling into a goal and it doesn't feel real how would i make it more real you can dial it back like say you're like i'm gonna manifest 10 million dollars it doesn't feel real you can't get your head around like what or how or how or when or where you know you can dial it back to something you can get behind to me sometimes it's like a bit of a desensitization like the first time i think of it it might not feel possible or if I want something, but there's a lot going on, like there's a lot of muck and chaos and cloudiness in my head just because of the state of the world and life or whatever. The first time I think of it, it might not feel possible, but like as I journal on it, as I look at it, as I think about it, as I imagine it, as I envision it, if you're a visualization kind of person, as I think about it, as I, you know, you can do a lot of things, write a letter to yourself and the present tense of it happening to you now. Like as I do all these things of feeling into it, it's like I normalize it. I calm my nervous system around it. I re reduce my anxiety and fear around it and it stops feeling so far-fetched. It feels a lot more possible, you know? I would love some help with raising energetic minimums, please. Okay. <sighs> what do I have to say about energetic minimums? So first, since I don't know where everyone is at, let's make it basic. So first, let's recognize that in our lives, we seem to have these numbers, these like energetic stand -in standards, what I've called the energetic minimum, the energetic maximum. I think I, in my book, I used the term energetic set point for how much we'll receive. And it's good for all of us to look at any time what our energetic minimum or energetic maximum might be. So you have this minimum. Say the minimum is you never earn less than $2,000 in a month. The $2,000 really isn't a month. $2,000 doesn't really keep you in a place of thriving. So I'll look at, look at it and I'll be like, okay, this amount, this like minimum amount that I'm really uncomfortable with and not feeling good about, but that I clearly, something in me is available for going that low. What in me is okay with it? And what in me is allowing it? And what in me is accepting it to some degree? What in me does it think I can have more than that or doesn't feel worthy of more than that? Like all of that, like just kind of looking at like and seeing that like I'm creating this and I'm okay with this and like why? If money is infinite and everything is available, like why? Like why am I settling for this minimum amount? It fucking sucks. And what if that amount, this part's more fun, what if that amount could go up? Whatever number you're thinking about right now is your minimum. What if we can see that amount increasing? little by little by little. So it's this amount and maybe you're adding like a hundred or a thousand rubber dollars to it. So like I see it going up by a thousand or 10,000 whatever a month. You see it going up a little and going up a little 
and going up a little and going up a little. Now, how does it feel? How are you feeling inside of you? To imagine, see, visualize, whatever, it going up and going up and going up. To me, it feels like increase and hope and expansion and possibility. And like, I still have power. And so it's going up and up and up and up and that minimum place, that minimum place is getting to a place where it's not uncomfortable and icky. It's getting to a place of where I want it to be. And I'm starting to like feel into and think about like, what if that bottom, what if that minimum wasn't the minimum anymore? What if it was never to be the minimum ever again? Cause I have no space for it. It's not okay with me. I see it clearing and I see it moving and we are going up and up. So the minimum's increasing and increasing and increasing and it's more solid and it's more stable and it's going up to a vibe year place. We're feeling better about it. We're feeling into it. We're like locking it in and we're like, whew, not gonna make that minimum anymore. Now I'm with that minimum. Hallelujah, amen. It goes something like that inside of myself. Does that make sense? How do you change your moods? You can feel happy with the money um, you have so more can come in. You don't have to feel happy with the money you have if it's not the amount of money you want to have. You don't have to feel happy. But I do think it will benefit you to find some gratitude. So getting into gratitude with money, let's just make it really simple. Like real simple, just things, good reminders for all of us. So every time you spend any amount of money ever, you're doing it with some gratitude. With some, thank you God for this meal, you know, or universe or life source, whatever you, whatever word you use to relate to the divine yourself, you know, like every time you spend to eat, to shop, to get groceries, to pay a bill, we're doing it in gratitude. We are excited. So you could make a ritual around it, like a ritual around, we don't write checks anymore. <laughs> so you're writing a check. So you were writing checks to pay the bills. You'd be like, with each one, you'd be doing it in love and gratitude. But say it's, you know, online payments, you're at the store, whatever it is. Take a moment to be grateful for ever, ever, all the money you're, you're able to spend and be grateful for the money that comes in. When the direct deposit hit, when the check comes in the mail, when you see the PayPal or Stripe, whatever notification come through, we're taking a moment for gratitude, 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 because it just puts us in a better state, in a better state with money. And it takes us out of the, it's not enough. So the trick is here, like when you receive money or get your check or see your notification, being like, well, I'm happy that payment came in, but really it's not enough. It's not as much as it should be. Or I want it to be a lot, a lot, That's like pretty innately a vibe of not enough. And do we want to hang out in vibes of not enough? Are we going to have like creative inspiration for our lives and what's next and like what we're called to do to receive more like by not enough, not enough, not enough. You know what I mean? So I don't, you don't have to be happy with money, but find a way to be grateful for those interactions. Step one. Two, be very, very, very clear on how much you want to call in, what that would look like, what that would feel like, what that would be like for you, what you'd be saying to yourself what was already here, to get yourself in the vibe of having more. My work is not to get you to accept what you already have, and then that's it. Like we're doing a bit of self-acceptance to get us chill enough to look at where we want to go so we can create it. You know what I mean? Okay. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.